So we're doing another problem in 9.5, and this time we're computing uh, a mean. So I have all the data here. Um, I've already selected, we have a test statistic for means. Before we did proportion, which is usually a population percentage, now we're doing a mean, so we're gonna have a t-score. You also have to be careful because we're gonna use this t-dist function here, not the norm s-dist. So it's very different, and it's going to use n minus 1 as the second parameter. So pay attention to that. So I'm going to paste all my data in here, and then we're going to go ahead and get the mean and the standard deviation. So that's the average function of everything. Standard deviation. Make sure you do standard deviation of the sample, stdev.s for s sample. Oops. All right, we're also going to need n is the count. Okay. So these are the values we're going to need in this problem. All right, let's actually read the problem now. Uh, hospital recruiting company, uh, they claim determine whether the average doctor's salary is significantly more than $89,000. So let's go ahead and just do the uh, hypotheses now. So they want to claim that the salary is more than, so they're right away saying greater than. And in this case, 89,000. This whole question, we're counting in thousands right here. So $89,000, uh, we're just gonna write it as 89. Uh, the other one's gonna be either equal or less than or equal to, and 89. All right, we do have to choose the variable here. So this is average or mean. So that's, and population mean, so it's mu. Let's hit submit, make sure we're on the right track. All right, looks good. Because we're looking for a mean greater than, this is a right tailed, so I'm going to highlight this one. So we're gonna do right tailed, and again, because we have a t value, we're using this t distribution. So it's gonna be one minus t dist when we get there. All right, is that greater than 30? No, that's 28. Is it safe to assume this is less than 5% of doctors? It better be. I don't know exactly how many doctors uh, are in their total. All right, outliers. Remember the inner quartile range is the difference between the two quartiles here I'm clicking on. So the width of this box right here, one and a half times that, both whiskers have to be shorter than one and a half times the width of the box. And they are, so there's no, there are not outliers. All right, we're ready to go ahead and compute the test statistic. So again, it's gonna be right here. T equals. All right, we have to subtract the two means here. So it's gonna be the one we computed minus the 89 divided by Standard deviation, another parentheses here, now standard deviation divided by square root of the sample size. And if you pay attention to the color of the parentheses, I closed the red parentheses, now I'm closing the black parentheses. That's our T value, 2.037. Round to four decimal places, 374. All right, p-value. So we gotta be very careful here. Uh, we're using this, uh, it's right-tailed, because we're looking for, uh, see if our mu is greater than. So it's right-tailed, so it's gonna be one minus, but it's gonna be one minus the t-dist. p-value equals one minus t dot dist. All right, x is, I don't know why they use the letter x, it should be, T, but it's that number. 
comma, degrees of freedom is n minus 1. That's written right above. And we're going to go with true. So if you hit tab, it'll put true in there. So again, we have t value, n minus 1. That's the degrees of freedom, and then true. All right, this is our p value. All right, turn that in. Got it. All right, now we have to make a decision. Our p-value is pretty small. Remember, our alpha I didn't write down. Didn't even read it. 5%. All right, so there's our alpha. Which one's uh, p is smaller? So p is less than alpha. We'll reject the null hypothesis. Make a decision. We're going to reject the null hypothesis. Remember, you're never going to accept anything ever again. Just kidding. But with these two hypotheses, you're never accepting them. You're only uh, rejecting or failing to reject. Uh, very negative. Very negative here. So reject. Fail to reject. Sorry. No. Our p value is less. Okay. We're rejecting H0. Reject the null. All right, make sure we're right before we go to the last part. Okay, this one always makes my brain hurt a little bit. All right, so we got to make a conclusion. And after the words that the population mean doctor salary is significantly more than 89,000. So we rejected the null. We rejected that the mu was equal to, that the average is equal to 89. So we're basically accepting that the average is more than 89 but we have to phrase it very carefully. All right, the claim is right here, that the mean is higher. So there is enough evidence to support the claim. I always get confused if it's there's enough evidence to support the claim versus there's not enough evidence to reject the claim. Uh, we rejected age zero. I think there's enough evidence to support the claim. I'm really bad at this part. Yes, I feel like I got lucky. Okay. okay. So we failed to reject age zero. 